Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a quick first impressions on the Viper Catla. This was sent to me by my buddy Stevie from Stevie Wonder Woman on Instagram and now on YouTube. Um, I'll link his channel below. Awesome, awesome dude. New channel. Go check it out. Let's get his sub count up um, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of him. Uh, so yeah, this is the Catla from Viper. It's the knife I kind of always wanted to check out because I'd heard a few uh, channels and, and friends uh, say they really like this knife. And um, yeah, I just wanted to try it out. It's a Vox design, which also gets me interested. I love uh, Vox. And as you guys know, I love the F5.5. Um, so yeah, um, this one is in my card. I believe it's Odie Green, but it looks black. So it could be Black Micarta, but I don't think they use Black Micarta a lot in Italy, but it could be. And then it has like brass or copper accent. I think it might be copper accents. Um, centering is dead nuts on this guy. Detent, very good on this, guys. Um, this is an example of a well-made Italian knife. They did a good job on this one. I don't really have a ton of complaints on it. Uh, off the bat or anything it's definitely heavy uh, that's one of my issues with it is it's heavy another issue is even though it's a vox it's not the most ergonomic knife to me i feel like it was kind of a miss not to put a full finger choil here even though you can basically use it as a finger choil it doesn't seem designed as one right um and that would have been very very comfortable because when you're back here your pinky kind of is on this flat and or it's trying to get in here and then you're cramped or it's I don't know it's just not that comfortable as a lefty as a righty it's a little better because that clips nowhere near you but you still have that issue again you can choke up but you're up by the edge right other issue is it's a basically a fake tanto um to me this is a drop point pretending to be a tanto there's no tip here um it's rounded off. So I don't know if this comes in another version that is a Tanto and then this is a drop point. I don't know. But they went for like a compound grind, which usually comes with a Tanto, like down to a tip. And maybe that's just how it came out looking, but it's supposed to be a drop point. I don't know. Or clip point. I don't know. Interesting. The jimping uh, for a Vox design is kind of disappointing as well. It's back here and it's very useless um you know i would have liked again to see the choil and then some jimping up here very voxnet style um there you go catla we can take a close-up look real quick here's that my card again i think it's green but i mean i wouldn't tell you you're wrong if you said it was black stonewash blade is pretty cool there's your vox logo it's m390 these thumb studs came loose on the knife. Um, I talked to Stevie. He said that's something he meant to do before he shipped it, but he forgot. The fact that you have to tighten the thumb studs is dumb. I Loctited them and let it sit for two days, so they should be good now, but that's just terrible. Like, thumb studs coming loose on your knife. Uh, I don't think it's a relatively old knife either. I think he recently got it. Um, there's that copper backspacer, which adds the weight. Same with the pivot collar, which to me is dumb i don't know why you would just haphazardly add weight to a knife like why would you want there to be more weight i guess balance let's see where's the balance point on this guy see it's ass heavy right there so if you're holding it like this like an actual person i mean it's just ass heavy to me, you know, and it just adds weight. I don't need weight on the knife. I want it to be lighter if possible. You have a liner lock. Actually did well. Locks up really good. It's not going to fail on you. No lock stick. I mean, the action is good. Like I said, detent's good. I think it had a little play when I got it, and I tightened. Oh. The hell? That one spine whack did that? No way. It's tight like this, but... I 
I mean, it is rocking. That's freaking weird. I mean, that's just silly. If it now has lock rock. Okay, centering's good. I don't know. Maybe that was there the whole time and I didn't notice. But I swear I tried it earlier and I didn't see any. I didn't feel any lock rock. So I don't know. I'm going to ease off a little bit. Get that action back. There you go. Still dead centered, but uh, that's really weird that it has that now. So, I don't know. I'll let Stevie know. I don't know if I did that by hit. I, I literally did this. That should not cause that to happen. So, um, yeah, great. Uh, there's that problem. Uh, it is from... Uh, Italy, so you're going to have sort of a crowned-ish spine, which is pretty cool. It's not necessarily totally crowned, but it's crowned-ish. Um, again, it's kind of heavy, but you know what? It's a fun knife. You can disengage it real easy. Left-handed, it works very well. You can reverse flick it because you have that extra cutout here that you don't have here. Bang, right? Um, the flipper tab works very well. It is kind of pokey. I will say that. The flipper tab's pokey. Um, what else, you know, right-handed thumb flick is good. Right-handed reverse flick is good. You do have to kind of bury yourself in there a little bit. Um, the studs are kind of pokey stabby, much like the flipper tab. One of the things I don't like about this knife is how pokey it is to deploy. Um, but I'm sure you get used to it. It is a deep carry clip, but in some silly fashion, they did not. Because of the lanyard, there you go. Because they wanted a lanyard hole on here, they had to now lower the clip all the way down. That's some spider coat shit right here. They had to lower the clip down to here. And then they did a fold over clip, which just looks dumb. It looks dumb to have a fold over clip that low. Uh, it's not reversible for no good reason. They could have just done a wire clip. And done a reversible one they could have had it up here probably would have been a little bit deeper they should have got rid of this lanyard thing i mean this is all in my opinion obviously i'm not a designer um well i guess i am actually no but i'm not <laughs> i'm not a um i didn't design this name is what i'm saying sorry um but yeah it kind of looks fish like not my favorite look of knives fish does have a little bit of a lizard thing going on if you look at the stud, but it kind of gives me like a swordfish type look, something like that. Uh, let's see how it cuts, and then we can wrap up this first impressions. Man, that is just not good. Yeah, good edge. Well done. So I'll give them that. Yeah, so overall, uh, it's okay. We'll see how the full review goes. I'll see what Stevie wants to do about that. Um, and we'll uh, take it from there. So, I love you guys. Really appreciate you tuning in for this one. Um, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.